Number one, Okigahara Forest. Situated at the base of Mount Fuji, this suicide spot has become so popular that they've had to start putting up signs that say stuff like, think of your family, and life is precious, just to try and deter people. It's touted as the perfect place to die, but the forest is actually the world's second most popular place to take one's life, with the first being the Golden Gate Bridge. A record number of 78 suicides occurred in 2002, with Japanese spiritualists believing that the suicides committed in the forest have affected the trees, generating paranormal activity that prevents most of those who enter from escaping the forest's depths. A theory which is almost definitely bollocks. On a more scientifically creepy level, it's said that compasses are rendered useless by the magnetic iron in the area's soil. So maybe you will get lost in the forest after all. Number 2. Sanzi Resort During the 1970s, a set of pod-shaped buildings were built in Utapai City, but it was abandoned before it ever opened because, well, people kept dying in disastrous accidents. And it wasn't just on the building site either. Numerous lives were lost due to car crashes on the road outside the resort. The Taiwanese government refuses to release numbers in terms of how many died or even discuss the resort, to be honest. And weirdly though, they still haven't demolished the place. Anyone fancy a dangerous holiday? Number 3. Prague's Old Jewish Cemetery Crowded cemeteries freak most people out, but how about 11 cemeteries are directly on top of one another? The old Jewish cemetery contains 12,000 tombstones, but the number of people buried here is likely far, far greater. Founded in the 15th century, more than 100,000 graves are likely piled here. The reason for this is simply a lack of space. Jews in Prague were forbidden to bury their dead outside of their own district, leaving them with no other option but to play a bit of corpse Jenga. Number 5. Candido Godoy. Candido Godoy is a town in southern Brazil that has a twin birth rate 18 times higher than the world average. The cause remains unknown, but some speculate it to be the work of Nazi doctor Josef Mengel. In his effort to find a way to rapidly expand the Orion population in Germany, he supposedly performed experiments on the prisoners of Auschwitz before fleeing to South America to continue his experiments there. Historians dispute this theory, however, and attribute the town's high twin rate to excessive inbreeding or toxic waste. But for anyone who's seen Kubrick's film The Shining, I think it's safe to say that a town full of twins is downright creepy, even without the Nazis. Number 5. The Murney Diamond Mine Excavation in the mine began in 1955, when the mine was closed, it was 525 metres deep and 3,900 feet wide, making it the second largest man-made hole on the planet. Joseph Stalin, then leader of the Soviet Union, ordered construction of the mine to produce diamonds following the war. During its peak, 10 million carats of diamonds were produced annually, but no one really knew how it was doing so well. What's creepy about this mine, however, is the fact that after it was permanently closed in 2004, it started causing considerable problems for aircraft, with unexplained air temperature differences and currents causing the airspace to be permanently closed. Whatever they did down there, it's been messing up planes, and that in itself is a little bit eerie. Number 6. Gunkanjima as a location, it resembles a fortress, with many referring to this place as Battleship Island, thanks to its resemblance to a gigantic ship. The island itself is contained within a seawall, with several battered, broken buildings erected in close proximity to each other, amplifying the island's reputation as a ghost town. Lying just off the coast of Nagasaki, this coal mining island has been uninhabited for more than four decades. In the mid-1950s, almost 6,000 people lived here, giving it the highest population density in the world. But the coal ran out, they closed the mines, and the inhabitants abandoned the island to the elements. 
number seven, Takakunumura Greenland Park. Greenland was a huge amusement park built in the 1970s, but has since become heavily overgrown. While only 250 kilometers north of Tokyo, it now doesn't appear to be featured on most maps of Japan. Built in 1973, the amusement park's first run lasted just two years. Some say it was close for repairs, but the general consensus remains that deaths were the real reason behind the park being shuttered. It was reopened in 1986, but in 1999, the park was shut down permanently. And also the park is very close to the location of Fukushima, which saw a minor nuclear disaster in 2012. So if it wasn't closed already, it certainly would be now. Number eight, the Island of the Dolls. The Island of the Dolls gets its rather macabre name and description from the hundreds of dolls tied to trees spread across the island. We can't tell if this makes it more disturbing or a bit of a relief, but this was entirely done by one man, Julian Santana Barrera, the sole inhabitant of the island. I suppose it's nice to have hobbies. According to legend, he discovered the remains of a young girl who drowned offshore and later found her doll floating in the water and decided to tie it to a nearby tree. He then proceeded to decorate the entire island with more dolls that he found from the nearby canals. He died in 2001, with many theorizing that he eventually took his own life after being driven insane, based on the fact that he apparently drowned in the same location as the girl. Number 9. Pripyat Evacuated several days after the Chernobyl disaster, the city of Pripyat was once occupied by more than 50,000 people. Now though, it remains completely abandoned. The city is commonly known as the Zone of Alienation, with landmarks and buildings left behind acting as a ghostly reminder of a time long past. Number 10. Kabayan. Kabayan is a series of caves in the Philippines, each of which is littered with mummies. And they're said to be some of the best preserved on the planet, with thousands of mummies scattered through various caves in Kabayan. And around these caves, you've got a normal village, happily living out their lives up until the unavoidable point at which the whole place turns into a Stephen King novel and the dead start coming back to enjoy a bit of human brunch. Thanks everyone for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. For more top 10 lists, be sure to subscribe by clicking on the button that you can see now.